All right, so I'm getting ready to put the motor and Zippy back together so we can get it thrown back in and get this guy running again. Before I do that, we gotta take care of this piston cylinder. I don't know if you guys can see very well how well the camera picks up, but I know in the previous video where I tore this apart and showed you guys, this piston cylinder sleeve is pretty much polished glass mirror finish smooth. And that is not what we want. In order for good lubrication, we need to have a little bit of thatching in there, which is just little grooves cut that allow the oil to adhere to it and actually create a little thin oil wall the whole way around your cylinder. And that way the piston can move up and down freely. You don't have metal on metal contact and you're not overheating. So in order to get this ready to be put back in, we're gonna have to do what's called honing of our piston cylinder. And basically all we're going to do is put this in the vise, add a little oil to it, take this uh, ball hone, we're going to just run her up and down for a few seconds like this in there. And what that will do is create some cross thatching in our cylinder walls that will then allow the oil to stick to it and give us the lubrication we need. So we're going to head out to the father-in-law's garage on his vise because I have yet to get a vise for my bench in here. And I'll show you guys real quick how to hone this. Now I decided to do this as a separate video because I doubt many of you out there is ever going to have the need to hone your cylinder walls. If you do, you're probably going to take it to a shop somewhere. But I figured I'd do this for those of you that might want to try this out, then it's really not that hard to do. So there's two main types of hones that we can use to hone out cylinders. The ball type, which is what I have here, and also a three-armed hone, which both has disadvantages and advantages. I like the ball hone, and for someone that maybe hasn't done this a lot, these are a lot more forgiving. The three-arm hone tends to be more aggressive, so you have to be more careful. The downfall to these are is they're very size specific. This hone I have right here, I bought just for Zippy. It only works on cylinders from 65 millimeters to 67. So in order to use these kinds, if you're doing, a, if you're honing several different machines with uh, different size cylinders, then you're going to have to have one of these for each specific make and model, or at least for each specific size. Whereas a three-armed hone they are more versatile because of the way they're designed. They'll work on a wider range of cylinders. So basically I got my uh, cylinder here all in the vise. I got it at an angle that would just make it easier to take your hone and move it up and down. First thing we want to do, we don't want to take our hone and just start jamming it in there dry. We're going to oil this hone up. We'll put a little oil here on our cylinder walls just to lubricate it and help it go a little smoother. Now before, it's, before we start, if you are going to attempt this yourself, a couple of things to keep in mind. Do not stick your hone in and then start spinning it. Make sure you start with it spinning and enter with it spinning. Okay, don't stick it in, start it, stop it, and rip it out. That's going to ruin your honing. You want to have it moving when you insert it and when you pull it out. And all you're going to do is you want a lower speed. I have my drill set on one. And we'll just we'll oil it up, get it going. We'll make about 10 to 14 strokes. Pull it out, shut it off, and then we'll check it. The goal here is to get about a 45 degree uh, cross thatching inside our cylinder wall. So I'm going to, they do make special honing oil, but a 10W30 works fine. And I figured since I have leftover actual Honda, GN4 uh, four stroke motor oil. We'll go ahead and use some of that. I'm just going to pour a little in here. Very little bit, maybe. Come on, without sloppy. I ain't it all over. I'm going to just take a finger messily, because we like to make messes here at Appalachian Mountain Riders. We're going to remove that round. It's a little cold, so the oil is a little thick, which is perfect for what we want to use it for. Need a rag. Oh, oh, did you see that catch? 
but I'm just going to slowly spin this, add a little oil to this as well. Get rid of any excess. Yes, this is very messy. There's probably a better way to do this, but again, I am not in the hillbilly garage. All right, hopefully I didn't get it on my camera. So again, we're going to start about right here. We're going to get her spinning, do our strokes, and then pull it out before we stop. Just like that. Now we'll uh, clean her up, take a look at it, and see if we need to give it a little more. Alright guys, I have no idea if this camera is going to pick this up or not. But, yeah, I guess you can kind of see. You kind of see here the texture now. It has some lines going this way, some going this way. That's exactly what we were looking for. So I think we're good to go here. So now we'll just take this back inside the house. We'll uh, use some mild t detergent and warm water to clean it out. You don't really want to use any kind of solvents, any brake cleaner or engine degreaser on your cylinder walls. We'll just use mild dish soap and warm water to clean out the, any uh, metal flakes that might be in there from honing it. And then we'll be good to go for putting this back in there. But you guys saw how simple this was. The hardest part is lining this up once you have it spinning to get in there initially you saw me i was kind of all over these smaller cylinders that's the tricky part but once you get in there as long as you keep it moving you should be good to go so i hope you enjoyed this little how to on how to hone a piston cylinder again you guys might never have the need to do this you may not feel comfortable doing this but if you feel comfortable enough to tear down an engine to work on it then you should be able to handle this no problem so if you're new to my channel, make sure you check out the full build we're doing on Zippy, which is the project we're working on this cylinder for. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you support me on Patreon, then on March 1st, I'm going to hope my first ever Patreon exclusive giveaway drawing, where one of my Patreons is going to be the lucky winner of a $50 Rocky Mountain ATV MC gift card. So if you have the means to support Appalachian Mountain Riders through Patreon, you can head over by the link in my description below and support me for only one dollar a month. But of course you're allowed to support me with more if you're able. So now that we've got this piston all honed out, we're going to go get Zippy Motors back together. So keep an eye out for that video, which that video may already be out by the time I release this one. I may release them at the same time actually because I know not everyone's going to care about how to hone a piston cylinder. But uh, get this motor back together. Get it in Zippy and hopefully fire her and bring her back to life once again. So thanks for watching and until next time, keep on riding. Appalachian Mountain Riders is brought to you in part by the following. The Honda Side-by-Side -Side Club, because who knows the machines better than the owners that use them every day. Walker Evans Racing, when the path requires more than just ordinary, head on over to walkerevansracing.com. Torque Locker from Torque Masters Industries. When you want to explore the unexplored, head on over to torquemasters.com. And by my gracious supporters on Patreon.